Hey everybody, I'm Trent Tiffin with Tiffin Motor Homes in our Wayfair division. And today we're gonna to go over our 2021 RW and look at all the changes we've made. Um, I know it's been a crazy year, so it's hard to get the units out there due to COVID and everything, but we have a lot of great things to show you for 2021. One of the first things that we did was we redid our front cap. It used to be a lot more bulky, but we slimmed it down a little bit. It's still all one piece, which is nice because you don't have any seams in the legs of the cap, so you're not gonna have as many leaks. We still kept our 16 foot awning from Gerard. It does have LED built-in lights and it does have speakers built in. So, you know, you can turn the house radio on, listen to it outside, or, you know, sit out underneath it and watch the game on the outside TV. One of the big changes we made for 2021 is our new entry door. With COVID, it took a little bit to get them from Italy, but it's a metal Arte door. Real flush with the coach, real smooth, you know, you don't have a lot of trim on it. I really like this door. It's got, you know, a little trash can holder, a little cubby storage. You also have a big shade here as well. Um, you also have another screen. So if it's a nice day like it is today here in Alabama, you know, you can sit outside, bugs won't get in, and you can enjoy a nice fresh breeze. One of the things that we still offer is our outside TV. It's a 32 inch LG smart TV. So if you have internet, you could hook it up to Netflix or in satellite and watch the game or something. It does come on a swivel arm, so you can turn it however you need to. One of my favorite things that we got to do for 2021, which is a big selling point for our Wayfarers, our compartment doors. So, you know, you don't have to bend down to get to anything. You know, a lot of people, they have theirs come up or ours just open to the side. But for 21, we added a little latch in here. So you just pull this strap up and it'll open up like a French door, saloon door, however you want to do it. So in the compartment bay, we have our Xantrex 2000 watt inverter. We also have our Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner and we do put a 110 Allen in there as well. So if you need to hook anything up outside, but again, super easy to get to the storage. You don't have to bend down or crawl up under anything. It's going to make it a lot easier on you. We do use the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus. It's their top rated model. Um, works really well. You know, hardly use any LP. You're always gonna have plenty of hot water. It's never gonna run out on you. We did add a water feel to the coach. Used to be, it was on the hitch. Now it's on the side, so everything will just dump right down. So you don't have to crawl up under the hitch or anything like that to fill up your water tank from outside. We have a 12 gallon LP tank. And we also do have our quick connect hose. It has a few more attachments, but if you have a little gas grill you want to hook up, super easy, easy to get to. Then this uh, compartment here, this is your freshwater tank. When I get to show you the inside, some of the changes we've made, you'll understand, but we've moved all of our tanks around the whole underbelly of the coach to get a lot more stuff. But now I'm gonna show you the driver's side real quick. So now on the driver's side of the coach, we did change up a few you know, locations of where we put our storage and do our water bay and everything. Used to, it was a really tight back end here for the water bay and the shore power, but our black tank actually sits here now. So you got the fresh water on the passenger side, black tank on the driver with the grays in the middle behind the hitch. But the way we did it though, we were able to move everything up. And, and what I like is we've got a new sewer hose storage compartment. Um, also, when you dump, it's really easy. We have our black tank. You just pull the black lever. The gray is right behind it. You know, dump the black, pull the gray, dump it. You know, flush out the, all that hose. You know, we also have our water filter here. And then we have our water hookup for city or dry camping. And above it is a sandy flush fill for your black tank. So you just hook your water hose up and dump all that out. You do have your cable tripod hookups in here as well. Um, all the extra hoses for the little, little shower we have, also for winterizing hoses as well. But then, going up here on the front, what I really like is this compartment got a lot bigger. Again, we have it to where this will open all as well. So we have our 30 amp shore power cord always attached, but you still have plenty of room in here, you know, golf clubs, lawn chairs, anything like that. You still have a big compartment bay because storage is, you know, very limited on Class C motor homes. And then in the front, we put our standard diesel generator here. We're one of the only manufacturers to do a diesel generator standard. You know, we just believe it's a lot easier to find diesel. It's just going to run a lot longer than the LP would. 
And then two, one thing for 21, we did a standard slide topper across the slide out. And now two, talking about the paint, this is one of our new paint jobs, it's called Perdido. You know, the light tan, little gray and the blue. One thing that we do, we also do full body paint standard where a lot of people don't. Uh, we do three coats of each color and three coats of clear coat. I think we have one of the best paint jobs in the industry. We do have three paint jobs with all the big stripes, Sea Mist, Perdido, and Conquest. But we also have the simple lines where it's just, you know, straight line all the way across three colors, Harmony, Regal Blue, and Pebble Creek. And they're looking really good this year too as well. You know, some new colors, finally changed them up. But full body paint is standard, so that's a big thing for us. So coming inside the coach for the 2021 RW, one of the first things you're gonna see is the Bigfoot leveling jacks. That is a standard option for 2021s. Um, people just love the leveling jacks. You know, the stabilizer still had a little bit of rock in it, but people like the four jacks on the ground, you know, pick the coach up, have it set instead of, you know, doing leveling blocks, you know, just make it all easier. You know, just turn the power on, It'll go through its cycle, and then you just hit auto level, and then you're ready to go. Here is your spider panel. This is kind of like another master switch. You have your awning, and then cargo entry, turn on your lights, you know, your battery on off switch, and your step on off switch. We do have an all battery disconnect switch down here instead of taking it out from underneath the steps. We did add a big grab handle coming in the coach, so it's gonna make it a lot easier getting out. So here's your master panel for the spider switch. It's all touchscreen LED light. It's gonna read all your tank sensors, fresh gray, black, and your propane. It's also gonna tell your battery voltage level. And you turn your water pump on. We also have our heat pad on off button here to keep your tanks warm in the winter and everything. And then we also can go here and this will be for all of our lights. So this is on the living area side. So we turn our lights on and then we hit the bed bath. Now we've got the whole coach lighted. One of the cool things about this is if you see the up down button on one of the lights, you just, all you have to do is just hold it down and then you can start dimming everything. Now, before we put the slide out, a lot of people always ask me on the phone, you know, how much room do I have in the coach? This is with the RW slide all the way in. So I still have plenty of room to get to the bathroom because you know, when you have your slide out in, you have to be able to get to the bathroom. And this gives you a good look of how open it still is and easy to get to the bath area. But now let's go ahead and put the slide out out. So what's new for 2021, which we changed up, you know, the kitchen area, the bed area and the bathroom. So this is what we're going to start doing now. We used to have our microwave down low, but we moved it to above the refrigerator. So we we're able to get a nice countertop extension as long as it's the grab handle on the side. So those are kind of the, some of the new changes. In moving the microwave, I was able to get more drawers. So now we have a silverware drawer, you know, big drawer for storage. We also got us a new LP cooktop, it's all gas, but it's a little bit bigger than the old one that comes from Dometic. One thing I really like about our new galley is we used to have our outlets up here but like our class A's, we were able to get all these. So you got two plugs and you also have USBs built in. And then, you know, we use all Corian countertop solid surface. And we also have a really big bowl sink. You know, you get a lot of stuff in there. Now with our new entry door, our old door that we still did on some 21s because they weren't in from Italy yet, the TV used to be here. Well, this metal arte door got about four inches taller, so the TV physically could not fit in this area, so we had to move it here. Now, you lost a little cabinet space, but the TV does pull out. You have all your hookups and everything for back here, and you still have plenty of stores. Store whatever you need. And it's on a bulldog catch, so easy to open, easy to close. And then we still have one big cabinet up here. You can put anything you want up there. And then down below the sink, we have tons of storage, lots of storage. And two, we also hide our vacuum cleaner down here on this side of the storage. Our standard refrigerator is a compressor 12 volt refrigerator now. We still have the optional gas electric fridge. So if you see a unit with the new style cabinetry, instead of the flat door to the shaker style, 
This is a gas electric fridge. So all the boondockers, you know, you can run the coach all in the road going out inverter, and then, you know, at night, put it on LP, or the compressor fridge is going off the house batteries. Now, if you are trying to boondock and you're going between, a lot of people do ask, how do I boondock with the compressor fridge? It does have a night mode button that will not draw down your batteries through the night, but it'll still keep everything cool inside the refrigerator. Whereas this, you know, during the night, you know, hooked up with power or anything, you can always just swap it to gas, run the gas at night, and then during the day, run it off the inverter. So you'll still have plenty of battery power. But we were able to move our microwave up. A lot of people didn't really like it down low, so up to right here is about 5'3", in case anyone's a little short. You can still get to it very easy. You know, the top of the microwave is about 6'2", so easy in, easy out. So for our 2021 RW, the dinette booth is our standard living area. Um, for that, we did, we were able to add a drawer underneath here which there's still a little storage on the back if you just lift up the cushions. All of our units, whatever comes in the living area, dinette, sofa, or theater seats, we do have two seat belts. The seat belts will be on this side of the dinette. You don't want the seat belts here because if you break too hard, you know, you could bang your head or something. Also, we still have plenty of 110 outlets, all with USBs. They do have a child protection on it, so if they're a little tough to get in, that is why. But you still have plenty of storage up top. We also have our reading lights that are all separate from everything. So you just give a little touch, they'll get the blue light, and then, but they're all separate. So if you need a little night light or something. Now the dinette is the standard option, but the most popular option is our theater seats. 68 inch theater seats. You have the cup holders in the middle. They are electric, so you can put your feet up as much as you want, or if you almost want to lay flat, you can. And we'll have a pedestal table that goes in the front, which we also have a table that will go here between the driver passenger chairs, a smaller little table, drinks and whatnot. So for 2021, one of the biggest things we did in the RW is we redid our bed to all electric rather right than manual. It's super easy to use. So you just have to take off your cushions. Lay that right there. Bring up your legs. And then the uh, up down up down switch is just right here so just put it press it down it all comes down very easy and there you go now you have your bed and one of the nice things about this bed is the mattress fits in this box so you can keep your sheets on or if you want to put like a you know mattress topper or something on you can and when you put your bed up, everything's made up. You know, might just have to move your pillows a little bit, but I still have plenty of walk around space with the bed down. You know, even on this side where it seems a little bit tighter, I'm not a little guy, but I can still get around pretty easy to get to the bathroom. We did add all cabinets up here. So if you need to store sheets or anything or a CPAP machine, you know, it's about eight inches deep. On the right side of the bed, we do have a 110 outlet and our USBs. So if you have a CPAP, you can plug it up right there and drop it all down. But works out well and you still have, you know, separate reading lights there. You do have storage underneath here for your booster cushions or your tabletops or whatever you need to store away really easy. And then just put your cushions back on and the bed is made and you got plenty of living space again. One thing I love about how we do our RW is a lot of people like to do the countertop all the way back here. You know, you do get a bigger refrigerator that way, but you lose a little bit of storage. So we still have a good size kitchen, but we have a nice TV area. And then, you know, you got a big wardrobe here as well. You know, your wardrobe's not in the bathroom, so it's not tightening it up all that space. You still gonna have your three huge drawers. And then our TV, it even pulls out. So you've got plenty of storage back here. We do put our Blu-ray DVD player in the behind the TV. That's also new for 2021 is our Blu-ray player. A lot of people have always asked for one. And then all up in here is our control panel. So we'll have our solar panel, your hot water heater switches, your over-the-air antenna switch or cable if you're plugged into the campground. You do have your Xantrex 2000 watt inverter on off buttons. And then you do have your diesel generator switches here. 
Now, if you are to get lithium batteries, you would have another readout of the, for the batteries telling you how much voltage you're using, power you have left, what's being used, what's not being used as well. And for 2021, we added a sound bar in the coach. So we got rid of all of our speakers through the roof. We all go through the sound bar now. The radio is hardwired to the awning and the sound bar. So if you're listening to it outside on the awning, but you want to listen to it inside, with the Boss Radio, all you have to do is just fade the music left to right, left being on the inside, and the sound bar will play all the music you need, and it's super loud, so you will not hear it. So for 21, one of the biggest selling points of the RW is our bathroom. It's a huge bathroom, one of the biggest in the Class C industry. And the reason we changed a lot of our holding tanks on the outside is to get a bigger shower. So we finally got our one-piece fiberglass shower. All of our showers now for 21 are one-piece fiberglass. It's easy to clean, you don't have that plastic trim. Even though there's nothing wrong with it, we were just able to make everything bigger. So it used to be 24 by 36, but now it's 30 by 36. And I'm not a little guy, but I have plenty of room to get around in this shower. One of the nice things is it's, on a, it's just flat on the floor. No step up getting into the shower. You got plenty of room. Again, just super convenient. It did not really change from the 2019 chassis to the 20. It's all about the same, but it's still very sleek. You know, it's got nice leather, black seats. You know, we don't really like to recover it because we don't want to mess with the airbags inside the seat because Mercedes prides himself on safety because you know, they've added all the airbags here and in the seats, you know, trying to protect everyone as much as they can in case of an accident. One of the nice things about it is the 10 inch screen, you know, all touch screens. So it's just like a big iPad. You know, you got the navigation on it. It's huge. You know, I like it because it tells you where your diesel fuel's at, you know, nearest to you, but it's just a big screen. You know, you got your radio, all your Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay. It also has Mercedes Pro, which you can actually set that up, you know, and you can have a built-in hotspot through Mercedes, like a lot of cars today. So, you know, you pay a little monthly fee through AT&T or Verizon, but you'll have a built-in hotspot for the coach. That's something I think that's really nice feature to have, you know, instead of having to add more stuff onto the roof, you just have it raw right here. You know, then your steering wheel, you know, you have all your controls for the radio on this side. And then on this side of the steering wheel, it controls all the dash. Now the Mercedes, you know, it is on a three, it's a V6 turbo diesel, drives well, has a seven speed transmission. So you're gonna have that little get up and go. Now probably when you get to 60, 70, it might take you a minute, but I mean, you're driving a motor home, so I have to take that into account. But great driving unit. We also put on sumo springs where no one else does. So we're taking the axle blocks from Mercedes, we're about two and a half inches and add about five and a half inch blocks on there. So when you do hit that bump, your sway is gonna be taken out a lot quicker. It's just gonna smooth the ride out. One thing about the Mercedes is, you know, you have plenty of storage inside. So you got plenty of storage up here for anything you need. You do have eight cup holders, so you should never get thirsty. You do have your charging blocks up here. So they are already set for Android. The iPhone charger won't fit in. You probably have to get an adapter. But if you do have the right iPhone, I think eight plus or more, it, you can lay the phone down and it will smart charge. You know, that's so why you're going down the road. So you don't have to worry about hooking up cords and everything like that. One of the nice things about this Mercedes, you know, the seats, all, they will swivel. There's a knob in the front, swivel it around, you know, move the seat up a little bit before you do it. And to move the seat up on the door handle has the seat. So just press it up or move it however you want. You know, this seat will almost lay flat and go as far back as you need to. And it also does have seat heaters, which is a really nice thing. You know, the old Mercedes, you know, it was kind of van-like. Well, now Mercedes made a big effort to make it more car-like and give you the features of their vehicles. So now we have that on our motorhomes and we're real happy with that. So thanks for touring our 2021-25 RW with me today and going over all of our new changes. I hope you enjoy the changes. If you have any more questions, you know, go to our website, call the plant, call your local dealer, and we'll help you answer any questions you have. So I hope you have a good day and thank you.